Hey food vloggers, I made this video for you. I'm a gardener and I wanted you to see just how easy it is to grow your own unique food. Welcome food vloggers. I want to show you a little bit of my driveway garden so that you can see you only need a little bit of space and I'm gonna have a little mini tour up here and you can see that is my vehicle right there and up in the very front of the driveway i do welcome people in with some nice hot pink impatience this and the softer pink are the only thing i actually purchased i grew everything else myself from seed and i have a lot of lettuce going to seed right here these zinnias are gorgeous. They'll bring in the pollinators for you. I'll have videos on all of this this year. This is where I compost all of the kitchen scraps so that you can keep your soil absolutely wonderful and at a nice nutritional level. And those worms are gonna love what you put in there. Just follow your composting guides. These are some, this is a fantastic green bean archway. Wonderful green beans. Everything that I'm telling you is on the channel. It's kind of tried and true. This is the same green bean just later. And I'm using it to harvest seeds. So I don't have to keep buying them. And they're heirloom. Therefore, I can do that. These are some snowbird snow peas. And they're starting to poke out here too. Lettuce I started from seed. This is gorgeous French heirloom. I have a video on that. Um, and again, these are those shallots we'll look at in a minute. Zinnias again. These are an indigo series. They're called Cherry Drop. And they are so good. They have a fantastic taste. They taste like a mini black creme and they have a lot of juice to them. That's why I chose to use that in our stir fry. Uh, cucumber, which is on its way out, but they're fantastic. They're givers. When you have a small space like that, you want proven givers. More peppers. I've got some out there that we'll pick. I'm starting cilantro here. I've got some more lettuce for fall for backup. These are Chinese string eggplants, and I really love them. They're sweet. I didn't know I could love an eggplant that much, really. These are frog finger eggplant. I've got some gorgeous sunflowers here and a fantastic mix. The bees love them. Got to bring those pollinators in for certain things. I've got some beans. I've got some herbs we'll look at. All right guys, now we are in the house and you can see with this huge squash, which we're going to pick another one, it gives a lot of food. This is actually a sweet zucchini as well and it vines. So it's going to do a lot of space saving for you as well. I can't really say enough good things about this one. I'm in love with that and that Chinese string eggplant that I just showed you. So I hope that you will subscribe. We're going to get to the stir fry and everything that I put in that stir fry, I grew myself except for the rice. This is Gordon's rice. I love it. And I had some leftover pork roast and I definitely use that juice because I love to freeze and juice because I don't want to give anything away. I don't want to waste anything, basically. These are the tomatoes that I use, those indigo cherry tomatoes. You can, like, if I had these available at the time, I would have used these. So let's get into the video now. Let's make a stir fry using these shallots. And this one as well. And this one. I made a few more things, so come with me. OK. 
Okay, I got a nice handful of garlic chives, which are down there. I've got onion, I've got basil, I've got thyme, and I've also got rosemary. Okay, I need to grab one more thing. All right, I'm gonna cut this gorgeous, huge zucchini squash right there. And the rest of it, I'll go ahead and chunk up and freeze up for the winter. Excellent. Look how huge she is compared to those scissors. Okay, I also wanna grab a few peppers. And I've got some gorgeous cherries that are fully ripe in the house. Cherry tomatoes, so I'm gonna grab those. So I've got some of these eggplants already in the house that are a little bit bigger and we're gonna use those. Okay, so we have our peppers, our squash. I've got some chives for the top. We're gonna add in some shallots all of the waste i'm going to compost much like the tops of these eggplants i already have cut up i've got plenty of cherry tomatoes if i want whole ones they are at my fingertips outside and i just unfroze some leftover pork steak pork roast i believe actually everything is nice and chopped up and i have added some adobe seasoning, all purpose. I've got wet white pepper, salt, I'm gonna add some olive oil, probably some butter. But look at how gorgeous these little ringlets are on these shallots. I made a fantastic salad with them. They are delicious raw. I'll put the pick in so you can see it. And while this is cooking up, I'm going to go ahead and um, cut up our cherry tomatoes. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut up our pork. I use the juice from that pork. I'm going to add a big bowl full of tomato. I've got the pork already cut up. Okay, ignore the cooking in the background but I got a huge zucchini and I could not finish it up in the stir fry. So we are gonna freeze it up using the smallest grate in the nicer dicer. And you can see now how big the bottom of that bulb gets. Still don't have big enough seeds to plant though. And you can see how thick that is. And I'm gonna chop them all up and freeze them. All right, that's how thick they are. I've got them lined up for smash them. Put them on your cookie sheet. Make sure they got enough air. Pop them in the freezer. You're gonna be able to sneak so much zucchini into everything. Eggs, spaghetti, chili, soups. Possibilities are limitless and like stir fry I got going. Check out my Etsy shop, T-shirt garden company, featuring gardening, no mo may, sewing, tiny house, zen meditation designs, link in box below. Oh yeah, this is very good. You can see the eggplant, you can see the pepper, you can also see the shallot, and look at these gorgeous zucchini over here topped with a little bit of these chives which i always have these tomatoes which are standard for me the peppers are also pretty standard tried and true i've got this gorgeous sugar cube melon cantaloupe which is also tried and true in the garden for me but what was brand new to me this year was the squash the eggplant and these shallots mm all delicious what a fantastic meal 
it is so good i cannot believe how much i love this eggplant and this zucchini right here they're actually sweet and you can't really go wrong with onions if you like onions you like onions but these are so cute with their little ringlets very mild flavor recommend all three of these to you guys I'll make this nice little diced bit uh, before we go, let's look at the rest of the harvest. Sugar baby watermelons. Mm. That one doesn't look so good, but look at that. Little sugar cube, cantaloupe. Oh, it's still, it smells so good, you guys. This one I think is probably going to have to turn a little yellow for me. Hilda green beans. Nice big pile of those. Stringless. Here's those frog finger eggplants, some zinnias, tomatoes, lots of tomatoes. Look at that, that's a mortgage lifter. Beautiful. Here's those artesian tomatoes I did a video on. Indigo cherry drop tomatoes, sweet 100s. Seed saving, always seed saving going on here. Look at all of those General Lee cucumbers. Still got a few out on the vine. It's just now starting to um, turn as far as the leaves go. A couple pumpkins here. Got a few more I haven't even brought in. Here's what I'm working on for YouTube. So, so many videos this year, guys. You, you probably want to subscribe, I would imagine. Because I got a lot of things to say. A lot of things for us to see if we like and if you want to grow. This is a great way to do so. Thank you so much for watching, and I invite you again to subscribe, as I have been gardening for over 40 years and have a lot to teach, show, grow, review, experiment with, and my favorite, a specific variety, everything deep dive. So let's try new things together, mix it up, and have a glorious day.